Hey guys, Frozen Nexus here, and I have some good news about the division today for once. And that's that, you know, Ubisoft is implementing a stat tracking feature which should really cut down on the hacker problem. A lot of you probably know this already, because I'm a bit late on the game with this one. Uh, I didn't really, I saw this a while back, my friend sent me a picture of it, but I didn't give a shit about it, the division enough at the time to uh, get on and play it, but since that, I believe that update's hitting Tuesday, or I don't know the exact date of it, it may have already come out, it's been that long since I've played the division, but since there is going to be a fix to that, I've gotten back on, started earning my Phoenix credits again and whatnot. Uh, you know, maybe I'll have to use it, who knows, you know, it probably will be still useless because I have a lot of shit already. But, yeah, that's pretty much gonna help out a lot with the Dark Zone, especially on PC. This probably isn't such a huge problem on consoles, you guys probably don't care as much, but on PC it's just annoying. And it really just gets old real quick, so it really, you know... Ah, oh, sorry about that, had a hiccup there. But, uh, yeah, it just really made me, you know, not enjoy the game as much. So, you know, hopefully this will bring back the Dark Zone a little bit for me. I'll still have the constant issue of it being an, you know, all-out SMG battle one after the other. Like, it'll always be just an SMG battle. No one uses anything other than an SMG now, so... What's the point? <laughs> I mean, you know... But, whatever. I can get over that much, at least. I, I, I... As long as... You know, I it's a fair SMG fight, fine. I'm good with it. I'm not going to complain too much. I do hope that they still release a weapon rebalance, and I think a lot of you would enjoy that. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to actually, you know, have a variety of different people in the dark zone? You run into a sniper, or you run into a tank with a shotgun, rather than just everyone running around with an SMG and spraying and praying, and, you know, that's pretty much all it is right now, so... I think it'd be a lot more fun if, you know, everyone was playing a different way. It'd be really cool if, you know, you had a team of people where you had a couple guys using assault rifles to, like, pin you down with a sniper in the back while some guy flanked around with a shotgun and just blasted you. But now it's just four guys with an SMG run out and try and kill the other four guys with SMGs. And, I mean, I guess it's fun. I don't know. It just gets boring. It's just too repetitive, especially for how this game is designed. There's such a nice variety of areas that you can fight like every new area you fight it's like a new map but it doesn't really matter when you're fighting with the same gun and the same tactics over and over again because one way is so much superior than anything else so yeah and uh, if you're on console probably uh, you know like I said you don't care about the hacker implementation but there have been issues with people going through walls and shooting people from under the map and shit like that and that's not going to get fixed with that, unfortunately. Uh, this will just track stats so they can't boost their stats, so they do 10,000 damage in one shot and, like, kill you in a few shots and shit like that. So, it, this isn't going to fix the entire problem, but it will fix most of the annoying stuff. However, the one annoying thing that will remain is going to be teleporting. They haven't worked out a fix for that yet, because, like I said in my previous video about how hacking isn't going to get better player position isn't track server side it's track client side what that means is that right now my client is sending the server several packets of x and y z coordinates telling it where i am now you would think that if okay if those x y and z coordinates just jump really far in one direction wouldn't you think it'd pick up on it well, it doesn't, because the server needs to accept a certain amount of latency, because it's probably just getting the packets that I was sending you back when I was back there. So it has to accept that, you know, not every time, you know, there's a big jump, it might just be lag, and this way people with who have more than 50 ping don't get kicked off the server every 10 seconds. So, yeah, that's kind of the big issue here, and... The anti-cheat system Ubisoft is using, and it is Ubisoft's anti-cheat system. Massive is not working on the anti-cheat system. The, Ubi uh, the Ubisoft anti-cheat system is a joke. I've heard of a lot of shit going down in Rainbow Six Siege. I don't play Rainbow Six Siege, so I don't know how bad it is or if people are just over-exaggerating. I've just heard that there are hackers on there too, and it's really pissing people off on that uh, game as well. And that just goes back to Ubisoft not having a very good anti-cheat system because 
I mean, let's face it, they make games like Assassin's Creed. Who the, who the hell tries to cheat in Assassin's Creed? This is the first time they've released two massively, like, multiplayer, well, I shouldn't say massive multiplayer, because that's not really how I meant it, but this is the first time they released two really big games that are both multiplayer based at this, in the same year, and previously, what did they release multiplayer based? I mean, yeah, Assassin's Creed has multiplayer, but... I feel like so little people play it that no one would even take the time out of their day to try and cheat. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for that. Uh, I'm just, you know, it just shows that the game is being worked on. Now, it's probably a bit harsh earlier when I uh, kind of just trashed the game completely, but I am still bored of it. That is not, that, that, like, statement has not changed at all. I'm just getting on to get my Phoenix credits and getting off. That's about all I care right now. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, show your support, and hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.